Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Milbrot. I'm an independent Sensi consultant out of Woodenville, Washington. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'd love some comments and feedback if there's anything uh, content-wise that you're looking for that we haven't talked about yet. Happy to go over that stuff. Um, for this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new release, Fall Scents, and give you my warm reviews. We sniff them cold. You'll have to forgive me, the dogs are wandering around, shaking and whatnot. Um, we sniff them cold, and I gave you my thoughts and feedback on those. I have now warmed them all because I have made um, samples for my sip and sniff coming up in a week or so, and wanted to be able to give all of my guests samples of all the new releases. So that's why I did last night, is uh, spent last night doing all kinds of samples. So I got to warm them all and smell them all. And I will tell you this, we've talked before, if you're not sure you love it cold, warm it, try it. Ask your consultant for a sample. Say, you know, I think I like this, but I wonder what it's like warm. Do you have a sample? And ask, because sometimes it makes a big difference. It really does. So we're gonna go over these. And I, I will uh, also pre-warn you guys, uh, if you watched my cold review, I do not like grapefruit at all. Not in the least little bit. So the grapefruit one, I'm very biased. It's probably a wonderful scent. I hate it. I can't stand it. I won't ever warm it again. But that is just me. I don't like grapefruit. So um, I will tell you that if you like grapefruit, you will probably love this warmed because it, it was very strong. So let's talk about that one first since it's my... I warmed them in the order I knew I probably would like them least to most. So, grapefruit and grenadine Scentsy Bar. Splashes of sparkling grapefruit and juicy pomegranate are garnished with zesty orange peel in an ultimate merry mocktail. Um, we talked before about, in the cold review, whether it, how true to the description these are. So I won't go into that too much. What I will tell you is that um, warmed you could smell this throughout the house. It was very a very strong performer, and it was very, very heavy grapefruit. Um, my husband and I both went, ugh, because neither one of us like it. However, if you like grapefruit, try this. And if you sniffed it cold and thought, oh, I think I might like it, you'll probably really like it. It is nice and strong. It is a nice, fresh, bright scent. I just don't like grapefruit. So moving along, there's that one. All right, uh, my next least favorite is Fiddle Leaf Fig. So let's go, and you know, I'm not gonna read you the descriptions. We already talked about that. I don't wanna hunt around for those. Fiddle Leaf Fig. I was actually surprised this one. I liked it better warmed than I did cold. I still did not love it. I probably still won't be purchasing any bars for myself. But again, if, you're, if this is one that you're on the fence about a little bit, you think, well, I think I, I might like that you might really like it warmed. It was really much, much, much better. It was, I would say, almost nice warmed. And that's coming from someone who didn't like it, okay? So, um, yeah, this one, much improved warmed. All right, uh, let's see. I don't really hate any of the rest of them, so we're just gonna go with what's in order over here. I'm Snow Over It. This one was really, really, really mellow fresh, light. Um, it's probably not a scent for me because it's not in your face, but this is a really nice one. And one thing I will say goes across the board for me, for the new fall scents, is when you warm them, they are much more blended. Um, the, so if you sniff one and it hits you in the face with cinnamon more so than you thought, when you warm it, it's just a little more diluted and a little more well mixed in and blended. I thought that was really great. Um, I'm Snow Over It was definitely a winner. Very, very nice warmed. Um, again, more so, I liked it more so than cold. Candied Cranberry Pecan. This one we actually all really loved here at my house when we warmed it. I wish it was heavier on pecan. I wish you could smell that nuttiness. Like one of the Bring Back My Bars um, 
cherry almond pie or cherry almond tart or something like that, you can smell the almond. It's that nuttiness is in there and it's, it's fairly heavy. This one is not heavy on the um, pecan. And I don't know that it's really heavy on the cranberry, but it's just a really nice, bright, festive scent. And it was fairly strong. So warming it, I liked it better than cold. It was cold, it was okay. Warm, I thought, oh, that's really nice. So I will actually be picking some more of that up for myself. First day of fall. First day of fall, um, actually, I'm going to say cold review and warm review are probably pretty similar. This is a nice one. It's very nice and it, it's exactly that. It's a very fall scent. It just smells very fall-like. Uh, it's not super heavy on the cinnamon, but you can pick up those fall notes in there. Um, this was a winner. I would probably get more of this. I was bummed it wasn't stronger when you warm it. Strength-wise, in your face-wise, probably about the same as when you sniff it cold, but it, this is a nice one. All right, Huckleberry Wreath. Okay, so this is not one of my favorites, but when my husband sniffed them all cold, this was his favorite. And his reasoning was, it reminds me of childhood, something about childhood, and it smells kind of sweet. Uh, maybe candy of some sort? He couldn't pinpoint it, but it, was, it definitely brought back a fond, positive type memory. So when we warmed it, the one thing I will tell you is, it's not as sweet smelling warmed as it is cold. So like I said, most of these kind of blend well and mellow out a bit when they're warmed. This was no exception. When you sniff it cold, you get huckleberry, but you get, it's almost like huckleberry candy of some sort. Like it definitely has a sweetness to it. And warmed, it was much more mellow. It was very nice. I actually liked it better warmed than I did cold. Cold, my husband thought, that's great. It's my favorite one. Um, and I went, that's eh, okay. Warm, I thought, oh, I could handle that. That's pretty nice. So this, if you're on the fence about this one, warm it. It's nice. Maple apple bourbon. Um, this one was really nice warm. It's, it is a great mixture. Maple apple bourbon. It's not heavy on the apple. It's, to me, heavy on the maple and the bourbon. You, it smells of bourbon. Um, it was a strong performer for me, warm. I could smell it everywhere in the upstairs, and it was a really pleasant, nice, rich smell. So again, if you think you kind of like this cold, warm it, you will love it. It's, this was really nice, one of my favorites, one of my tops. Brownie batter, all right, um, you guys, if you watched my cold review, you know how disappointed I was in this. To me, my review of this cold was, it smells like fake cocoa, right? like a scratch and sniff 1980s cocoa sticker is what it smells like. I will tell you, I like it better warmed. Um, do I love it? No. Does it smell like brownie batter? Yeah, uh, sort of, but not a ton. But it smells less fake. It does smell pleasant and nice. It wasn't super strong. So if you like uh, bakery scents and that cocoa smell, but you don't want it super strong in your face, this would be a good one to pick up. It is much less artificial smelling when it's warmed. I was actually impressed because I was thinking, okay, this one is not my favorite cold. It's not gonna be great warmed. It, it was, it was pretty good. That I'm saving for last. All right, blood orange citrus. This was probably my second or third favorite warmed, uh, third. This was really nice, blood orange citrus. I do not love orange, not a huge citrus person, this is not heavy on the citrus. It's just got a really nice festive spice type of a smell. Um, and warmed, it was strong. Yeah, it, this is a really nice one. I liked it much better than I was expecting to, and I liked it much better warmed than I did just sniffing the wax bar. So this would be another one that if you like it or you think, yeah, I kind of like it, warm it. You'll love it, it's really good. Now we are going to go to my very, very favorite one. Last but not least, Stroop Waffle Delight. It's amazing. It smelled great just in the bar. It smelled even more amazing warmed. Um, my husband didn't like it. My daughter doesn't like it. I've warmed, warned them both. Tough luck because when my bars get here in the mail that I've ordered, this is going to be warming in the upstairs probably throughout the winter. This is my new favorite. I love it. It smells 
again, very, very well blended. And I don't want to say mellow because it, it's somewhat in your face, which you guys know I like. Um, it doesn't, the cinnamon doesn't hit you in the face. You can smell that bakery, that flakiness, like churro churro. It almost smells like a churro. This smells like a bakery item. You can smell that flakiness, which is just bizarre to me. I don't know how they do that, but this is a winner. If you like it cold, you will die warming it. It's amazing. So, um, all of them better warmed and some aren't, you know, some bars you sniff them and you go, Oh, that's great. And then you aren't, you're like, Oh, really? All of these were an improvement warmed. So that I think says something cause it's, that's not always the case. So there is my warm review of the new fall scents. Um, all but two are totally doable for me and a good three or four are, I think I need to have it. So overall, Scentsy has really done it with the fall scents. It's looking good. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know what your favorite fall scents are. Have you sniffed the new ones? If not, reach out to your consultant. Let me know. Message me and say, hey, I really, you like Stroopwafel Delight? I want to know if I like it. I'll send you a sample. You're going to die. It's amazing. Thanks, guys.